In this video, we're going to discuss how to use ultrasonic sensors with our Arduino. And in the process, we will discuss how you do analog to digital conversion, as well as simulate analog output using pulse width modulation. Now, the ultrasonic sensors that we have are the MB1340 and MB1240 Max Sonar sensors from a company called Max Botics. Uh, I happen to have one here that's unsoldered. You can see on the screen, of course, uh, this is the website for this particular product. Now, as you probably know, a, an ultrasonic sensor works by sending out a very high frequency chirp, which, of course, travels at the speed of sound and can hit off of a wall or other object and reflect back to the sensor. And by seeing how long it takes for the sound to go down and back, the sensor can use the speed of sound, of course, and figure out roughly how far away that particular object is. Now, when the, when the sensor sends out the chirp, it sends out the chirp in a particular direction and it also listens in a particular direction. And so there's a, there's a cone of sensitivity where it, is, it can pick up an object and in general things outside that cone, it won't detect. Now for our purposes, we're not too worried about this cone because we'll be able to put, uh, make sure that our sensor is shooting towards a, a flat surface that reflects really well. And so we're primarily interested interested in how do we calculate the distance away that an object is with these sensors. Now there are several ways that this ultrasonic sensor can return the distance that it detects. The one we're most interested in, or the one we're interested in, is using the analog voltage which is described here. This is the, uh, <clears throat> the easiest way to, to determine what the distance is. And basically, the sensor will return a voltage on one of its pins that's proportional to the distance the object is away. And the voltage that it returns is equal to the voltage that you feed it, which is VCC, in our case 5 volts, divided by 1024 for each centimeter of distance that the object is from the sensor. So that raises the question, how do we determine a voltage using our Arduino? And if you remember correctly, these uh, our Arduinos come with six analog to digital conversion channels. And these inputs take a voltage between 0 and 5 volts and convert it to a digital number between 0, which is equivalent to 0 volts, and 1024, which is equivalent to 5 volts. So basically, what we get out of each of these channels is a number, a value, let's call it um, n, and that is going to be equal to the voltage in that we feed it divided by 5 volts times 1024. Now, if you recall, the voltage that our ultrasonic sensor gives us, I'll call it V, well, let's call it, uh, I'll call it V ultrasonic, VU, is equal to 5 volts divided by 1024 for each centimeter away that an object is. So if we rearrange this, we see that the distance D in centimeters is equal to 5 volts over 1024 over VU. So if, but if we feed VU into one of our analog to digital conversions, that's just V in, then we get that the distance is 5 volts over 1024 over, let's see here, 5 volts over 1024 for our uh, analog to digital conversion times 
n, which is the number, the digital number that's returned uh, from the Arduino when we when we do the analog to digital conversion. Of course, these all cancel right here, and so what that means is that the distance is just equal to the value that is returned from our analog to digital converter that's built into the Arduino. So let's do a little demo here to show exactly what we mean. We'll take our picture of the uh, Arduino and we'll make a new page. And let's draw the circuit that we're going to use for our ultrasonic sensor. So our ultrasonic sensor may, let's say, sits over here and it's pinging for us in this direction here. And there are a number of pins on the ultrasonic sensor, but the three that we're interested, interested in are the, the um, five volt input, which will drive straight from the Arduino. Uh, there's a ground pin that we have to connect as well. And then there's an output pin, uh, happens to be pin three on this particular uh, sensor. And we'll take that, I'll write this here, pin three. And we'll take that and we'll feed that into one of our analog to digital converters. And then we'll write a sketch in Arduino that we can uh, read this, the value of this particular analog converter and then we'll print it to the screen and we'll, we'll show that as we move the sensor around and point it in different directions that we get um, a reading that's roughly equal to the distance an object is away in centimeters. So let's go to our Arduino sketchbook here. And I've already started, I've already written a program that uh, will take a distance measurement for us. And let's walk through real quick what it does. If you recall, we, we call the setup function one time at the start of our program. And that's where we do things like initializing pins and, and such. And we're going to output our results to a serial monitor. And to do that, we have to use this command here, serial.begin, and set a baud rate, which allows us, uh, which, which tells the Arduino to set up the, the mechanism for sending out data to our serial uh, output screen. I'm going to set up one of the digital pins, pin number 10, as an output. And I'm going to use that to control the brightness of an LED depending on how far away a particular object is. Now to do that, I need to go back to this. To do that, we have to, we, 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 we need to point out that we can read in an analog voltage between zero and five volts and convert it to a digital number, but we can't actually output a voltage other than zero volts or five volts. So if if we wanted to output a voltage of two volts to our LED to make it burn half bright or, or two and a half volts to make it burn half bright, we can't just, uh, the Arduino can't make a two and a half volt signal. So what it does is it uses something called pulse width modulation. Sorry about the writing here. And what that does is um, if we wanted to simulate two and a half volts, what we would do is we would output five volts for a short period of time, and then zero volts for a short period of time, and then five volts for a short period of time, and then zero volts for a short period of time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And if we do this fast enough, then it appears to the LED or to, to something that, that isn't operating as, as fast, it appears that the average voltage is two and a half volts and that's how bright in this case the LED will burn. Obviously if we wanted to uh, make something that represented one volt we would put this on for a shorter period of time and leave it off for a longer period of time so that the average in this case would be something less uh, namely one volt if that's what we were shooting for. So I've set up pin 10 as our 
uh, for, for our pulse width modulation output. Uh, then we start our loop. <clears throat> and the first thing we do in our loop is we read the value of our of analog channel zero. And analog read basically does the analog to digital conversion for us. So it takes the voltage in, um, multiplies it by, by 1024 over five volts, and returns an integer, a number that is the value that comes out of that analog to digital channel. Now we showed that um, because both the ultrasonic sensor and the analog to digital uh, converter cancel each other, that that value, that sensor value, will be the distance in centimeters an object, the nearest object is from our ultrasonic sensor. So we'll take that number and we'll print it to our serial port using this command here, print ln. Um, L, the ln is so that it puts a, a line return, a car carriage return at the end of our, at the end of a line, so it will scroll through. And then we use a command called analog write, which doesn't really write analog as we just discussed. It basically acti activates the pulse width modulation on uh, pin 10, and it will do so with what we'll use the sensor value and we'll divide it by four for the output. And the reason we divide it by four is because the analog to digital converter goes between zero and 1024, but when we write using pulse width modulation, we have to give it a value between zero and 256. Then we'll wait 100 milliseconds and we'll go and we'll do it all over again. So we'll upload our sketch to our Arduino and it's uploading, done uploading. Once it's done uploading, it, it, it starts running. And uh, I've wired up my circuit as you can see here with my ultrasonic sensor. I'm feeding in the, uh, the power in and the ground, sorry, the ground is green, the power in is blue. And the output signal is this gray wire here, which comes from pin three and goes into our analog to digital converter. The, uh, the red wire here comes from digital pin 10 out, feeds into our LED, goes through our resistor and then to ground so that we can change the, the brightness of our LED. Now over here on this side, we can open up a serial monitor. And basically this just watches for whatever the uh, ultrasonic, whatever the, sorry, whatever the Arduino sends over the serial port to our monitor here. Um, I'm holding the, the ultrasonic sensor about three centimeters from the table. The, uh, the nearest reading that this sensor can do is about 20 centimeters. So anything closer than 20 centimeters will basically show up as 20 centimeters. Uh, it's not the most accurate thing in the world, as we can see, because it's bouncing between 20 and 38 and 39. But if I then pick it up and hold it and point it towards the wall, which is uh, apparently about 135 centimeters away, or if I bounce it down, I pick up um, a book that's sitting over on my table. But you can see that as, let's see, there it's reading 133 centimeters away, and the LED is, is kind of brighter than it was before. And if I point it off across the room, we, I get the maximum reading, which is 750 centimeters away. Um, my room is not that big, but, but these things lose sensitivity as, uh, over, over distance. But you can see that the LED grows uh, quite brightly. If I put my hand in front of it, then uh, it goes back down to 20, and the LED becomes dim again. Basically, that's the, the gist of analog to digital conversion. It's the gist of pulse width, pulse width modulation. And now you see how to hook up your ultrasonic sensors.